Hi guys, this is how to play Shoe Yourself Sanctuary by The Cult. Um, this is a classic uh, electric guitar riff which I've made um, appropriate for beginner's guitar using just your three chords G, C and D major. Um, this is part of your 10 song series, playing 10 songs with just these three chords. And um, the actual acoustic guitar part in the song is actually just the G chord. Um, the amount of time that we're going to spend on the D and the G chord, those two aren't actually played on the acoustic guitar part. If you listen to the track, it's just the G chord which is played um, in the following strumming pattern, which is just up, down, down. And it would be to the count of kind of one, two, three, four, up, down, down. So one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three. Um, in that final bar of four bars. But the other chords as well would be a D chord for two bars. So one, two, three, four, one, two, then a C major. And then finally your G. But uh, especially when we get to that G chord, I would like you to play the, the riff from the song, which is up, down, down. And that first upstroke happens on the offbeat of one. So one and two and three and four and. That one more time. Three, four, one. So no strum on beat one. And two and three and four and. And um, in the, that final bar, that would sound like on its own. And if you, uh, if you haven't heard the song in a while, I recommend just do a quick search for it. If you pause this video, I'm happy for you to do that. Listen to the song real quick, and you'll hear just this acoustic guitar kind of pop out of nowhere. And uh, first of all, that's the best thing to do. Just do the up, down, down, along to the song, no capo needed. Um, obviously there's a, a, a signature lead guitar part to this song and I'll be covering that a little later in, in this video but it's great to know that even on super easy beginners acoustic guitar you can play that part that's on the record it will sound exactly the same um, but we're also going to fill in the other chords as well so um, if we play the chord sequence that I, I just covered um, on the beat and I've written it real quick down below so that you can see these chords written out. Um, we've got a bar of D, another bar of D, C and G. So let's have a strum through that. Ready? Play along to me. In one, two, three, four. D, two, three, four, D. Then a C, C. And your riff on G, up, down, down. From the top, we will do a C, and D playing them on every beat and then the little riff on G. If you struggle with the riff, kind of keep going with it because you'll possibly accidentally do it at the right time and then you'll see how it fits along to the song. But if you're unsure of when to do it, play along to me and play along to the record just on a G chord and try and fit it in. But it's, it's really cool once that part starts to work. So from the top, every beat, one, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, D, then a C, three, four, up, down, down, D, two, three, four, one, two, three, then a C, two, three, four, up, down, down. And it's actually, it's the same chord sequence for the entire song. So if nothing else, you can play along to the record um, like that once you've kind of got it somewhere near up to speed. Um, to be able to get the sound of the verses, um, what I recommend we do is the, the power eight strumming, so the down strumming um, in an eighth pattern that we looked at in Chasing Cars and uh, Knocking on Heaven's Door, a few of the other songs that I've done in this video series. Um, but as well as just doing the eighths, which would on its own sound like one and two and three and four, which will match with the, the lyrics for And the exits turn What are the lyrics? What does he say there? Oh, the heads that turn. It doesn't say that in the song, but you know, it's, it's, it's cool anyway. Um, oh, the heads that turn Make my back burn um, So yeah, with the 
that eighth strumming, that will sound appropriate to the song, but if you can palm mute it also, um, that's really will sound really like the record. So, oh, the heads that turn make my back burn. And what's happening there is I've got the outside of my hand pressing down on the bridge, which is the white part of your guitar, or if you have an electric guitar, that's any point where the string has contact here. Put the outside of your hand like a karate chop, and you rest your hand there. If you want more detail on that, do a search on my uh, YouTube videos for what is palm muting, and I'll show you how to do that palm muting technique in a bit more detail. But we're just going to keep going through it with your power eights. So from the top, from your D chord, one bar of D would now sound like one and two and three and four and. Um, and two bars of D, three, four, one, two, three, four, and stop there. That's where we change to your C. And um, in the verses, it doesn't do the up down part. We're just going to keep palm muting it. But as soon as that riff starts again, as soon as it's kind of on the chorus part or the hook part of the song, that's when we're going to do the up down down. So let's go for your uh, your verse now. And one. Two, three, oh, the heads that turn. One, two, three, to a C, and then a G. Oh, the heads that turn. To a C, make my back, make my back burn back to strumming on the beat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. to your palm muting for the second verse. Um, you can do downs and ups in that um, chorus part as well, or any of the hook parts. And that's how that would sound. Down, up, down, up for uh, the chorus, for the louder parts, because you're doing normal strumming. When you're in the verses, it's probably easier for you to do down, 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 down. It's not too fast. Uh, you can do downs and ups if you want, but most people find that much trickier to, to get consistent. So that's really what I'd recommend. Um, and the world, the world turns around. The world drags me down. I always thought it was the, the worms when I was a kid. I used to listen to this song and think, the worms drag me down. That's what it sounded like to me. But yes, that's how to play this, um, play this song from a super um, easy beginner's point of view. But that is all the official chords to the song as the proper way to play them.